Well, good day. Welcome to today's Living Word. I'm Dwayne Matson. Today, I'm going to take a short break from our verse-by-verse -verse trek through the book of Isaiah because I was floored by something that I read in Jeremiah 31 this morning, and I wanted to share it with you today. In Jeremiah 31, the Lord is talking to Jeremiah about the New Testament church age, which began after the ascension of Jesus, and it continues today. This is the age we are living in. And he says in Jeremiah 31, 14, I will satiate the soul of the priests with abundance, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, says the Lord. Well, my first reaction to that passage was a prayer. I said, Lord, soak my soul with your abundance. Satisfy me with your goodness. And then I realized that the Lord was talking about the future outpouring of the Holy Spirit on every individual believer, including you. First of all, understand that as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are a priest. Peter put it this way in 1 Peter 2, 9, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. So this promise in Jeremiah is for you. The souls of believers in the church age will be satiated. The word literally means be drunk with abundance. And when you hear that kind of terminology, it should turn our thoughts to that first Pentecost after the Lord's ascension. What did Peter tell the people on that day? In Acts 2.15, he said, For these are not drunk, not satiated, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. So not drunk with wine, but intoxicated with the Holy Spirit. Just as we read in Ephesians 5.18, do not be drunk, do not be satiated with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled, be soaked with the Holy Spirit. We receive the Holy Spirit, of course, in our baptism, and he feeds on our God-given faith. Unfortunately, for the most part, we ignore his presence in our life. And in so doing, we grieve him, and instead of being satiated, our souls are parched. Ephesians 4.30 tells us, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. And the Holy Spirit is grieved whenever we purposely ignore his presence in our lives. This snubbing of the Holy Spirit occurs with every single act of disobedience to God's commands and every lack of trust in his promises that are found in God's word. So the challenge for me and the challenge for you is to listen to the Holy Spirit speak to us in God's word, and then react with trust and obedience. This is the soul then that is satiated with the Holy Spirit, satiated with the abundance and goodness of God. I'm Dwayne Matz. That's today's living word.